In many ways, it's the home that Tim Duncan built. A view from Drone 12 of the AT&T Center, home of the Spurs. And it seems to be at the center of a debate right now. In the last several weeks, many have asked, could the silver and black move out of this arena on the east side? But not for Austin, not leaving to Austin, but for downtown San Antonio. Case had learned from a source on Monday that the team in the city of San Antonio had been talking about the future of the franchise once its lease at the AT&T Center is up. Including a possible move to a downtown arena, though the details on where and how it would be funded aren't clear. Garrett Berger talked with Eastsiders to get their thoughts on a move on from the AT&T. From the decor to the name, there's no doubt that the identity of Ball Hogs Barbecue is tied to the Spurs team that plays next door. You know, they ball right there and we sell hogs. Owner Hubert Brown says he gets business from fans going to or from games who need to catch an Uber. He's not keen on the idea of the Spurs moving. It brings people here to kind of see what's going on over here on the east side. So it will be a travesty. But he also says the county owned stadium's presence has not done much to prompt a wider revitalization in the past two decades. But as far as what it all was supposed to be and they're going to develop everything and bring business here, they did not do any of that. At a barbershop further up Houston Street, an east side resident says a downtown move might be beneficial for fans but also talked of the empty promise of development. They've been here 20 years and haven't fulfilled that promise. Let them stay here another 20 years and get it cleaned up, and then they can go wherever in the city they want to go. District 2 Councilman Jalen McKee Rodriguez, who represents the area, tweeted that the county-owned AT&T Center, quote, never fulfilled its promise to spur positive development on the east side, and that a new stadium cannot and should not happen until there are steps to remedy this broken agreement. But not everyone sees it as a bust. David Edmonds lived near the stadium site for about 30 years before the center was built. And he says he sees people moving back. You know, there's not no big, big business, but the people are at least the uh, businesses are not moving out like they were doing before the at and center. What could happen if the Spurs move out is anyone's guess. A city hall source called the talks preliminary and informal. And the team has another nine years on its lease here at the at and center. So any move, if it happens, isn't likely to happen soon. I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. Now, earlier this week, we asked you if you would support a new downtown arena for the Spurs. And boy, did you answer. Shannon Sahabi says, no, AT&T is perfectly a fine stadium. Fix up mom and pop businesses and old buildings first. John Nally, on the other hand, says, take my money. Tommy Zooms says it should be at the Lone Star Brewery. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And Maxi 493 had this to say, I support the Spurs, period. As long as they stay in SA, the history won't leave with them. I want to thank all of you for your thoughts. Yeah, absolutely. And if you did not get a chance to weigh in, you can still be part of the conversation. Scan this QR code here on your screen. That will take you to KSAT.com where you can share your comments in one of our trending articles about the Spurs venue and you can read what other people are still saying. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.